The myth is, are there spreading ryegrasses and rhizomatous turf type tall fescues? Here we have They usually mean wet grass. I learned that a long time ago. I learned that a long time ago. Here we have some plugs of turf grass that we pulled from our marketing plots on Thursday. We went into, these are our existing cultivars. We didn't choose them by knowing which ones had it or which ones didn't. We just went in and randomly dug three holes. Steve doesn't know this yet, okay? Ugh. So what we did is we, we went looking for were there rhizomes in these particular um, these stands? And as you can see, here's one. It's coming out of the bottom. These are ones coming out of the bottom of this turf type tall fescue. And as you get in there, you can see they've spread quite a bit. And I just broke that one. But they've done spreading. They're rooting on these nodes. So they definitely have rhizomes. And like I said, these weren't selected, this is just generally what we find in most of our breeding operations. But if you look at it, those rhizomes aren't the only thing that's important. You can see the density of the turf, the fineness of the leaf texture on this particular one. And again, here's another one. Spreading, spreading, and that's what it's doing from just randomly um, going in and looking at these tall fescues. This is a, another tall fescue plug. Again, a very deep rhizome over here. Um, this other one plug, this is from perennial ryegrass. Again, just randomly picked them up, dug them up out on the far, out on the turf plots, and you can see the spreading type growth on these ryegrasses. In many of our current ryegrasses, this one's coming out the bottom. Here's another one coming out. So we, it doesn't take very much time or effort to find this spreading type growth in their newest material we're dealing with. And that's what's reinforced by things like um, the NTEP data that's looking at divots for um, perennial ryegrass in divot repair, or looking at rhizomes and holes that appear um, for turf type tall fescues. So, this is confirmed. It's confirmed. Ta -da! Do they occur? Yes, they definitely occur in. Um, turf type tall fescues. They're in most of our current new cultivars, but it's not the only thing and it's the mo not the most important thing. You still need things like high density, aggressive tillery, high disease resistance. Um, many of these also show resistance to brown patch and gray leaf spot. We actually have rhizomes or spreading type in both ryegrasses and tall fescues. And here's my mucky hands. Mm. For more information about our cultivars and management, visit our websites at sroc.com and dlfpixseed.com. Click here to subscribe. Click here to see more myths.